everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a tutorial on this very smoky shimmery eye look using a lot of blue teals greeny colors I'm getting major mermaid ocean vibes right here so if you'd like to see how I created this look then carry on watching all right so first we're going to start off with this boho brow soap and a toothbrush from iconic and we're just going to push that product up and through the brows then I'm going to be using the P. Louise Eye Base in the shade 3. This is my most used colour. I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid and then we're going to carve out the eyebrows as if we've already filled them in. So I'll be filling in the brows later during the tutorial. So if I carve it out now, it just means I don't have to carve it out while I've actually got my eyeshadows already on. So the first colour I'm going to be using is this really beautiful bright teal from Makeup Atelier. I don't know what the shade is called because it's part of a palette and they don't have the color, like colors or numbers on them, but it's just like this tealy color. So I put that all over the eyelid. Then I'm going to grab that slightly darker teal green and I'm going to blend this to the outer view of the eye and curve it slightly into the socket, almost like halfway. So you just want to make sure that both sides are even. The next colour I'll be using is called Showboat. It's a really nice bright teal colour, like a blue teal, from the Be Perfect Stace Marie Carnival XL Pro palette. And I'm just going to blend this through the crease. Then I grabbed a smaller brush and I started applying the colour very lightly closer to the inner tear duct of the eyes. It's better to use a small brush just so you don't go too far into the nose. Then I'm going to be using Ex Ecstasy. <laughs> I don't know how to say that name. It's that neon green. And I'm only picking up a little bit at a time and applying this above that bright teal we just applied before. Now you only need to use a little bit because it's already a very bright colour. Then I'm going to mix a little bit of Keen, which is the yellow, not the mustard yellow, the actual like chrome sunshine yellow. And I'm going to blend this above Ecstasy. So it's just going to add a little bit of vibrance to the green. Then I just went back to re-intensify my darker colour. And you can also re-intensify all your other colours if you found that they've faded throughout the look. So now I'm going to be applying some NYX Glitter Primer over the eyelid because we're going to be sticking on some shimmers next. So I'm just gradually popping on this shimmer. It's like um, kind of like a tealish green colour. I thought I showed it on the camera but I obviously didn't so I will make sure I link the colour so you can google and see what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's actually more intense than this but I only wanted to use a little bit at a time. And then I also slept on these kind of, um, it's like bluey, purpley, mostly blue actually. Uh, flakes and I'll also leave a link to those. So I just pop that on all over the eyelid and then you can touch up your outer corner colours. Next I'm going to be applying some false eyelashes. These didn't um, have a box, they were just in a tray from I think the AliExpress or eBay actually. They're just really fluffy lashes. Then I went in with this paint from P. Louise and I applied this along my lash line and then over top I applied the same colour that we used on our outer V, that darker colour. And then I also applied black as close to the lash line as I could get it. I wanted to create like more of a smoky liner for this look. Moving on to base, we're going to prime using the MAC Strobe Cream in the colour Peach Light. I'm really going to massage that into the skin and under the eyes. For foundation, I'm trying out this new one, Power Play from Cover Fix. Um, I've used it once before, but it was only like really natural. So this time I actually got to use it properly, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it dried my skin out so I don't think it's good for my skin type. So I just applied that all over my face 
and I think the colour was too light for me as well. Then I went in with this palette here from Sosu and I just used that cream bronzer shade there and I'm just going to dabble that on using a makeup sponge. So I'm applying that to the cheek area and then the other side and then down the nose and also the forehead, pretty much everywhere where you want to add a bit of sculpting and also warmth. Then I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the NARS Radiant and Custard. This is like one of my OG favorites before I uh, before I used the Tarte one. But uh, using it again just made me realize how much I loved it. I don't know why I stopped uh, stopped using it. Well, actually, I know why because I started using Tarte, but I just really like this color. So I applied that underneath the eyes and down the T zone, the usual spots. I'm just going to blend that in with a Cynthia and a makeup sponge. This is a really nice sponge, it's like a small to medium size. Now we're going to do some baking. I'm using the Fenty Banana Powder. I'm really going to shove that underneath the eye area. And then I'm also going to drag it out towards the end where the eyeshadow was and then also down the T-zone. Going in with Dark Tan, I'm going to use that colour to contour slash bronze. This is from MAC, it's the Mineralized Powder in Dark Tan. And the brush I'm using, if you're wondering, is from Samu Kuzami. Then, can't forget that forehead and a little down the nose. Alright, blush time. We're going to use this blush from Makeup Geek. Can't remember the colour off the top of my head, but it will, it will be listed down in the info bar. We're going to pop that on the cheeks and sweep it upwards towards the temple. And then once we've done that, we can wipe away our bake. Well, not wipe away, sorry. We're going to tap away or pat away our bake. Alright, so now we can do the eyebrows. I just started drawing hair strokes using the Maybelline Brow Pomade in dark brown. And the brush I'm using is from Warner, it's the E4. It's my favourite for doing eyebrows and also eyeliner as well if you, if you use um, gel eyeliner. And then I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. I'm just using a, it looks like a shimmer because it's it's quite bright but it's actually not, it's a, it's a matte colour. It's from the Makeup Atelier um, palette. It's like a like a nude color, like a nudish yellow, white. It's like a cream vanilla bean color. <laughs> so I use it on the inner corner of my eyes and also underneath the brow bone to highlight. Moving on to the bottom lash line, we're going to line our waterline using a cold pencil from Inglot. It's like a dark teal color. Then we're going to smoke. Uh, show waves I think it's called which was the teal that we used in the crease from the Be Perfect palette and then I'm also going to apply the darkest color that we applied to the outer V also along the lash line and then we're going to really smoke the uh, smoke out ecstasy which was the neon color so it really uh, connects it with the top Once we finished the bottom lash line, I just went in with mascara from Iconic. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the top as well. Just to make sure we don't have any powder in there. Moving on to lips, I'm lining my lips using Strip Down the Planner from MAC. As you can see, I need a new one. This one is like gone mini size now. It's one of my favorite lip liners. I think the color is just really nice. Then the lipstick I'm using is called Abu Dhabi from NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream. I think the formula of this is quite nice. It's very soft and velvety, but you get next to no product in there. Like this was brand new and I feel like there's like nothing in there. It's already running out. Then I just used a little bit of concealer to lighten the center of my lips. Then to finish off the look, I'm just going to pop a little bit of highlight to my cheekbones and down the nose. Alright, so here we have it, the completed look. 
some ocean mermaid vibes smoky glittery look hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please like share and subscribe if you haven't already and of course leave your comments down below i always appreciate reading all you guys comments and replying when i can so thank you guys for watching my videos and i will see you again on my next one bye guys